Hi there. I'm here to talk to you about creating um, documents and uploading them to Randa for your evidence for your off stage um, standards, those core props four and five um, that don't necessarily get observed in the classroom by your observations or during your observations. Um, if you're also missing some evidence or you feel like you need more evidence in one, two, and three core props, you can also add more evidence in, in this place, like in your artifacts. Um, so, um, so I've already kind of written some stuff down here, um, and I'll kind of go through this for you. Um, I'm doing this all from Google Docs, so because that's what I'm comfortable with. If you do it in Pages, it's it's similar, and I'll just kind of talk through that as I go. All right, so this is my document um, again, the offstage artifacts, um, and I copied and pasted these standards directly from Randa already. So these are the standards: 4.1, 4.2, and the description that goes with it. 5.1 and 5.2. Now, I didn't list exactly what I've done because I haven't finished mine. Um, but mine are going to be awesome and because I'm an excellent or what's it called? Not proficient. I'm exceeding the standard <laughs> um, on all of these, right? I know all of you are too. So we're all going to get fourth. Anyway, um, things to include for standard 4.1, adapted lesson plans and reflection. So anything you've done where you've gone back and made adjustments. Sources of professional development because that's where you've, um, things that you've learned about how do you go back and adjust your practice. Um, uses it, evidence where you've used IEPs and student data to adjust your practice. And all of this, like, without getting personal and using um, too much information about the students, obviously, you should include also the hard copy of each of those items. Now, when I do that, to make it easier so I'm not uploading all these individual documents, in this location here, I'm going to insert a document or a link. So I might go up to Insert Link, and then if I know what that link is, um, I'll just go over here to another document I already have open. I'm just going to copy and paste that here into this link. And I'm going to say this is evidence of adapted. Oh, shoot, I pressed a button. Sorry about that. Okay, so again, I'm going to insert and up to link. That was it. Okay, I'm going to paste it there. Evidence of adapted lesson plan. And I'm going to apply it. And now that's a link so that the next person that can open this can just click on it and get to that document. Okay. The thing about that document, though, is that it has to be shared with the person you want to see it. So if I'm going to share this with Mrs. Toll, our wonderful principal, I want to make sure she can see it. Otherwise, I'm not going to um, get graded on that or rated well on that. Okay. So there's that um, link. Okay. The rest of these, you shouldn't need to put in a hard copy of lesson plans or anything like that. You should be able to just include lists and dates and descriptions. So for 4.2, you can do um, dates and descriptions of professional development opportunities, peer observation training and participation, collaboration with colleagues, other type G work and reflection. Of course, we've spent all year doing our risk and PBE training. So don't forget to include that. 5.1 um, is about a school effectiveness collaboration that we've done. So if you're on any group or meeting, like department head, department meetings, MELMAC, whoops, there's supposed to be a comma there, 
SIT, Transition Committee, Habits at Work Committee, any of those, make sure you list the dates of the meetings you attended, descriptions of the groups. PBE training, of course, would go here. Commun communication logs when collaborating with teachers. And then logs, dates, really, of the IEPs, 504s, and staffings. In the past, I've always just included the, the initials of the student so that we're not creating any FERPA issues. Then uh, for 5.2, you're talking about communication and collaboration with um, caregivers, students' homes, and the community. So again, just creating logs of, um, and you might have to go, now that we're just talking about this now, you might have to go back in your email, go back to your date, you know, date planner or whatever you use to get this stuff. But communication log with parents, a list of your IEP meetings and staffings, um, and then any information that you have about field trips, collaboration efforts with community members. Once you have all that done and documented, you need to create this into a PDF. So, you can't upload anything into Randa without it being a PDF. A couple ways to do that. Um, in Pages is a little different, but um, in the both of them should be a download as option or a save as option. So here, you can download it as a PDF. One real quick change I want to make, you know, obviously, I want to put my name on this, Winch and Batch. This is my TEPG evidence for this year, 2015. I put in fake just so that I remember later. This isn't my real evidence, but obviously yours won't be fake. Okay. So I'm going to go back and download it as PDF. Whenever you download stuff, it should automatically go to this bouncing folder over here, your downloads folder, in case you didn't know that. I'm sure you all do if you download stuff as much as I do. All right, so now I'm in Randa over here. Mrs. Randa, as our friend Georgiana likes to call her. So I'm in um, Randa, and it brings you right to your dashboard right away, and of course you have to click on evaluation to get to all our wonderful reports. And we've already done our goal setting form in the beginning of the year, and we did our student learning objective, and we'll have to update those later as we go. And then your final evaluation at the end of the year, everybody has to do these, is here, your self-evaluation. Now you could click into it. I'll show you this first. And this is where you're going to rate yourself on all of these core props and talk about your strengths and opportunities you had to grow and any other comments. Okay, And it's also included for core props 4 and 5. I think in the past, we had an option to add documents for each of those areas. But here, you have to add them on the outside. So if you return to evaluation here, you see self-evaluation, and you go to attachments. This is where you're going to attach that PDF I just created. So you're back under evaluations here at the top. You see a self-evaluation. You're going to add file. And like I said, it says please select a PDF file. It can't be your pages document or any other document. It has to be PDF. I choose my file. It's in my downloads folder. And I called it something. Wow, I've got a lot of files here. Winch and batch. And it's that one. So I chose it. Enter a description. This is my evidence for four props, four and five. Choose an attachment type. It's evidence. It's the only option, but you have to choose it. And then I'm going to submit attachment. Pretty quick and easy. I want to make sure it's there. So I click on that arrow and it shows me that it's there. Okay. You can view it to make sure it got uploaded. Oh, it made me download it again. So now I've got two of them down here. I guess I can't just view it. All right. So it's there now. And again, now that that's uploaded, I still have to go back and um, enter all this stuff. Obviously, that was just my fake one. So I want to go back and delete that so it doesn't actually get um, sent. But I'm going to delete that. If you ever make a mistake and upload the wrong file, you can delete it. And now I don't have any. All right. So that's your little uh, 
intro about your core prop evidence and how to upload it into Randa. If you have any questions, just let me know. Good luck.